too late for that. Nauticrawl is an immersive experimental experience. We invite you to step in and explore with an open mind. Headphones are recommended. I'm also trying out, like, mood lighting, which also just means really bad lighting. <laughs> And I'm hoping that it contributes in some way. <laughs> so basically what I've gathered from this game is that it's kind of like FTL, but it's underwater. And also the game doesn't tell you at all what's going on. For far too long, you've been at the service of the noble houses. Now you finally decided to attempt your escape. What happens after that will be written in the records of the great terminal pillar. I may have kind of missed those last two words. This kind of reminds me of like when you're first being introduced to Rapture, you know, it's it's very cool. Not a crawl, 20,000 atmospheres. Yeah, so basically I'm pretty sure you're piloting this little tiny like James Cameron submersible, but you stole it. So there's no tutorial, you don't know what's going on, the game doesn't feed you anything. It's like this trial and error puzzle. I'm pretty damn interested. Received first access reports, use mouse, uh, ba -ba -ba. I think that's about it. Sender unknown, pay attention, don't give up. That's what we have to work with here. Exterior conditions, air quality toxic, radiation high, pressure 20,000 atmospheres. Life support outside Nauticrawl, not sustainable. Operations, launch new Nauticrawl. Okay, so this is this is literally just the menu. I'm not even in my like little submarine yet. So that's kind of cool that just right then, right off the bat, as a part of the menu screen, it's giving you like the not sustainable. You're gonna die if you try this, but we'll die trying. <laughs> Records of fugitive worker six three seven, a rogue escape. And so I can zoom in and out of my monitors. I I got a bunch of levers and stuff, buttons. Green button, no good. Legit guys, I'm not kidding, this is it. There's like no tutorial, and a lot of the reviews said that like, it's trial and error, you just kind of fiddle with some doohickeys, which is the funniest thing actually. The more I think about it, the more it's like, how many times in a movie have you ever seen? Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, power on. There's a first step. All right, immediately that feels very rewarding, doesn't it? But how many times have you seen in a movie where someone like steals a plane or whatever, and then they just start flicking switches, pushing buttons, doing whatever the hell, and it like, oh, look, it worked. They're a genius. They figured it out all for themselves. Routine check complete. Scanning pilot's coat of arms. Error, no heraldry found. External controls, up, down. Do I have? Buttons? Oh, see, hitting up activates this. What if I hit down? I'm like looking around on the screen to see, oh god, I'm like losing power or something. Oh god, I got things beeping and booping around me. Uh, boot complete, engine off, battery low, critical, I don't know what to do then. Okay, right, engine, engine off? I'm gonna lose all my battery. How do I, I, I need to do something to recharge battery. I need uh, like an alternator. Uh, uh, full max power. Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose this like first attempt here. I wonder if that's it. If I failed so disastrously, it requires a restart. That opened. I think it's a self-destruct or something. I think you just jettisoned yourself out into the water. New retrieve signal intercept from a stolen nautical unit. Status deceased. Recorded cause of eject. Battery died before engine started charging it. Yeah, so I gotta get an alternator going like in a car. I just gotta figure that out. But I feel like I need to power things on and then make that start happening right away. Is that draining the battery faster? It doesn't seem like a thing. All right, start, engine, maximum thrusters, coffee on, wheel engaged. Kind of reminds me of Space Team a little bit. That doesn't seem like it'll be useful either, does it? All right, this screen on as well. Engine, engine on. Sonar, that's cool. I can pull this little doohickey, that's fun. But I'm feeling like I've lost power and so I probably just need to restart again. 
this game is really not gonna be for everyone because it lives and dies on that trial and error. If you're not interested in like experimentation and trying to figure it out for yourself, then this game really doesn't have anything for you. I, I wanna be honest about that. Ugh, even with the power on, my yank, Yankee Doodle doesn't do anything. <laughs> Big red button? That seems like that would be useful. Turn all this on and then big red button, right? Come on. Ah, battery level critical. Ah, oh, come on, it was about to do something. It's stuck, maybe? Oh. Things just happen that seem promising, but then I just keep running out of energy. Net hook charging. Okay, so when I have the screen on, at least you can start getting feedback on something. Engine is off. Engine is off. Yes, I'm still trying to work on that, okay? Battery level critical. Oh! Oh! Engine ignition! I flicked a bunch of shit around. Fuel injection is zero percent. Okay, good. That's probably what I want. Engine power. Uh, less. Less. Hopefully enough that I can recharge. Actually, probably I need that stuff up a little bit to get things cycling back into the system here to try and get the battery charging back up again. Yeah, settle the hell down. Can I disengage power and still figure this out? Can I still get the engine back on? Okay, okay, green button is good. Got that figured out. Battery connected to engine, that's also good, that's also something I want and need. But I'm gonna have to legit keep an eye on like fuel levels, which is probably one of these guys, I would say. How, now, now do I have to like specifically choose which way I'm going? Oh, okay, now I can actually steer. The music's getting a little intense, maybe. Not matrix, not accumulating. I don't know if that's a good thing. Crystals aren't mounted. I'll try and find some crystals. Records, I have nothing. Storage, I have salt. Zero pounds, zero pounds is what it's saying. No notes. I got none of that shit. All right, I gotta inject more fuel. Oh, okay, so here specifically is where I'm seeing where I'm going. Yes, okay, great. Let's steer into like uncharted territory, just straight dead on and just see what happens. Oh, oh okay. I think I had like the brakes on or something. That's a wall. That's what I just did. I just rammed myself into a wall. And so I think I damaged the hell out of the hull. Let's do this gently. Okay. Ah, that line in front of you is like the, the step that you're about to take. I'm learning. That little gate must be where I started. That little bit there on the wall. All right, let's take a jump forward. Incoming radio broadcast. Uh, let's see, message received. Attention all units, unauthorized access to the Royal Stables detected. The fugitive is not a trained pilot. Track anything that doesn't possess a valid heraldry. I think I'm gonna bail more aggressively, probably. Oh, heat level too high. Hit hull integrity. 83% engine damaged from heat. Well, shit, how do I like, how do I repair things? I got like this heat exhausting out the side here. This is my heat. Oh, I gotta let heat off. Engine heat released. All right, well now I know what that yanking thing does. That also doesn't have to do with the damage I've taken. It's more to do with the fact that I'm overheating myself. I got something that I want to try and head out towards now too for the first time. Oh, sick. Okay, periscope scan. The big walls surrounding this perimeter show a huge gated entrance connected to a net hook access point. I found the net hook at some point. Maybe this is my fuel. I, I'm quite wary about running out of fuel. I don't want to do a full step there. Net hook not charged. I would like to fix that. This net hook button does look like it's filling up or something. How do I... I don't know how to use that still. That's beyond me. Oh, I have different, like, zoom modes that I can work within. All right, the near one is good for now. Cloak field 100%. I can turn that off. I don't think I need to cloak field at the moment. And switching to fuel tank too. Ah, uh, so I, I have, like, a reserve fuel tank. A lot of this is really coming together, I would say. Uh, there, these are my specific battery drains. I could be turning the monitor off if it was getting too crazy, but I, I don't have to worry about that right now because my battery is doing totally fine. That was, the battery was a really difficult thing to figure out, honestly. Now this net hook is the thing that's giving me the most trouble. Oh, okay. What do we got going on here? Oh, different frequencies? 
the crystal tower and worker. I got one step closer. Now it just says fuel tank low. So that's not a very good thing. That's worrisome. And I uh, never ever figured out the net hook. I feel like I might just have to try and explore a different area because the net hook is beyond me currently. I, I have no idea what to do about that. So I'm probably better off trying to see if I can explore and find something to do. Imminent engines shut down. We'll just switch on over, I think. Uh, this one might be a write-off, though, because I can't, I can't for the life of me figure out the net hook. And now it's seeming like I need it, because there's, like, that starting gate, and I got nothing else. Where, there's, like, nowhere else I can go or anything like that. Uh, now all of a sudden I'm, I'm, like, back at the starting gate. The chamber from where Nautic crawls are launched requires top-level clearance to be opened again to prevent anyone or anything undesired from infiltrating the underworld. I'm a I'm ejecting. Open it. Open it. Open it. I'm I'm calling I'm calling it a loss. Let me let me out. <laughs> I'm better off starting over where I haven't run into a wall or any dumb shit like that. Uh do I have to gear a few of these things up? Do I have to do I have to boot this up first before I'm allowed to start the engines actually? That might be ah uh, there it lights up for me to let me know that it's ready to go. Perfect. Okay, the fact that the stuff like lights lights up now and again to let you know like that time I had an incoming uh message. It let me knew that know that as well. Uh I have the scanner here with Whatever this is, that might be my radio. That no, because I I picked up the radio from this before. There's still plenty of unknowns. <laughs> I won't pretend there aren't. Net hook still not charged. So that is, it's not something that I specifically damaged. It's something that I still just have not figured out. So there's there's that uh, incoming transmission again. Same thing as before. I think there might be some randomization to the layout and everything because this seems like it is actually in different places. I just realized something quite important, I think. Fuel injection. Uh, I'm not entirely certain. Yeah, I can control how far that reaches out. Engine power. That also I can, like, overcharge. There. So that's how you land, like, very precisely in a position. I didn't know before how to go, like, exactly on top of something like that. So that's something I, something new I have. But I still am without the net hook. Maybe I need to turn the fuel injection down to, like, zero or something? Like, is there, do I have to set this up so that the net hook, like, all power to the net hook sort of thing is, is kind of what I'm maybe starting to think here? <laughs> lower fuel injection because it seems like I can still get to the spot without as high fuel injection. I should be able to keep that quite low. And I'm realizing now that I have played around with this button much earlier and kind of overlooked it. But that's the net hook charger, okay? No hooks within range. What? Oh, I probably, I probably have to do a scan. Am I too close to it? I think I'm too close. That sucks. Do a quick jump away from it. Just the world's tiniest little thing. And big walls surrounding all that jazz. I gotta power this back up again. It needs a little bit of battery. But I gotta, like, dig around. I gotta find out what this stuff is. It's beamed. It's busy. Unhook? No, no. Access. Access. Okay. Fuel refill or battery refill. Acquire all. Acquire all, please. <laughs> I didn't realize that was an option. Uh, great. Does that also, like, open something up for me, maybe? Storage. Oh, that just sits as a backup. I don't immediately spend it. That's great. That's fantastic news, actually. I thought I was, like, committed. All right. Now we can actually think about going somewhere new. That's, a, that's like, an exciting little venture, wouldn't you say? Uh, but now I gotta, like... I thought that thing was a gate, you know? I thought I was gonna be able to keep going that direction. But it looks like I would just get blasted straight into a wall. I mean, same thing going back this way, right? It's just gonna take me into a wall? What just happened? Weight 180 pounds, max uh, 900. Oh no, there, this is new, this is different. Hull collision detected. I think I rammed straight into that gate, actually. <laughs> it's probably why that turned red. The old man was telling the truth. The lighthouse is real. 
Yet what lies ahead is still a mystery. Your finder and your compass will show you the way. Don't let the sacrifice of those who failed before you be in vain. Communication interrupted. So perhaps someone helped me escape. I gotta just try and duck around this. I don't think there is anything in this direction. I very much like don't know where to go. Does fuel injection? Oh, it just means it fills that up more quickly. You can like move more rapidly. So if I have really low fuel injection relative to the engine power, I should be able to conserve fuel that way if I'm understanding that correctly. I am going to use a refill. That's interesting because I also get to see like the change in weight that happens there. So that's pretty cool. I am suspicious that I didn't fully do what I was supposed to with this. It seems like not the case. That, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do it too quickly. I'm sure eventually I'll be like char chased by something maybe and I have to make like a oh, quick getaway. But right now that doesn't really seem to be the case. And so I should probably settle my ass down, try and get some things done. Open gate, ah, oh, you're kidding me. Gate is open. Here's where the whole game opens, honestly. This is what we were missing. This is how we can actually get around and try to actually explore. I don't know if I can handle that speed. I, I'm putting it up 33. 33 I think I can live with. Oh, I'm still connected. Am I? Disengage, right? Unhook, yes. That was my mistake. I kind of had to get past the other side first, I guess, anyways, so that might have been uh, valuable in some way. But yeah, if you change your fuel injection, I'll do it right here. You see, it's charging up, doing its thing. Uh, it's like halfway, and then I change it, it resets. And so you kind of got to be careful with that, because I think you can screw yourself if in a panic, you're like, oh god, this is taking too long, I got to get out of here. And then you make like a very last minute decision. This looks like a dead end. Oh, it might not be. I might have a little bit of room to, to explore. Ah, going like a little circle around this is not what I wanted. This actually looks more promising, because I, I feel like when you can see these little, no, that might just be the dock grid, but that looks like there's something against that wall so it makes me think there's more than just like a regular wall over this way mildly promising battery balance but i am eating it up i am eating it up so i i might need to fuel inject a bit more i have too many monitors on maybe what if i flick this guy off that evens out the monitors. And so now the net charge is going up. That's another thing I gotta make sure I'm keeping an eye on with this. Fuel and tank one, low again. Well, I'll just keep going as is. I'm gonna shoot up this really like narrow ass tunnel that I got going on here in hopes of something useful. I know that I have a recharge. Uh, empty, imminent shutdown, dismiss, storage use that immediately and I know that I can flick over to the secondary tank if when that becomes necessary come on this like dead-end navigation is impossible I'm getting stuck in the sketchiest little corners and everything oh, there's just nothing out here we really should have planned a little better I think what is this all now too move distance I didn't realize there was all this integrity of the the different hull and the net hook and cloaking and everything like that i haven't had to cloak yet nothing's really come for me move distance injection pressure time that's probably that delay for the injection building up heat emission good engine running all that i have i have the that powering back up so i'm pretty sure i can switch over back to like a neutral expected charge zero that's fine i'm okay with that because then I have my full monitors. It's once I start using the net hook and stuff again, I'll have to worry. Is that bad? Is that looking for me? Is that gonna kill me if I go chase it down? You know? Oh, uh, tank, uh, turret locked. Okay, nope, yep, that's a bad thing. This thing's coming for me. <laughs> it's a good reason to maybe change the fuel injection. But I knew I had that tiny little bit to duck past it. I bet there's something, like, valuable on the other side if I really were to, like, gun it past that little turret there. If I had the injection high and just move, move, move faster than it can lock on. Oh, shit. All right, well, that's precisely see what I'm basically have to do now. All right, let's get a fucking move on here. Try to get out of its range because it's really locking in, uh, 
locking on quickly. All right, uh, we can go back down to a lower fuel injection. Tank one empty, shutdown imminent. Lower injection. What do we got right next to us here? Periscope scan, damage not a call unit left for retrieval from certified dismantlers. A thick stratification of sand covers most of the hull already, as stated by Royal Court due to recent plunders. All belongings of the deceased pilot are to be considered property of the local authorities. All right, well, that's probably, if I can scan it, uh, it's showing me, I think, the range of what I can hook. No, that makes it look like everything is within range, and that seems inaccurate, but there. I was able to make a connection there. Hopefully, I can rummage through and grab some things. Damaged. It has a ton of stuff. I can take so much stuff here. But now I actually have to start um, worrying about my weight more battery. I'm sketched that I'm gonna just suddenly lose all my battery. Scrap salt. I don't know what good salt is for, honestly. Precious mineral mined from the forbidden surface. Ooh. Can't you just get it from the water, though? A repair kit. That seems useful. Uh, and then, I'm gonna check the field notes, and depending how that, how, how my weight is looking, I might just take everything. Tech note one. Notes from the training course. Battery electrical consumption is vital. Every instrument consumes ions. Cloak is the main drainer. Oh, I could be using that to avoid the turrets. The battery will drain with time only when engine is off. Red cells means battery will drop on next action. Yes, I have seen that. Blue, pale blue cells mean it will gain charge. See left monitor for, for stats. Yeah, okay, these are, that stuff I had learned. That stuff I feel relatively comfortable with. Solid, we're, we're good with this. I'm gonna acquire everything as long as I have the ability to, and then I would like to detach the hook. I gotta remember how to do that. Display log? This is from the damage not a crawl, not, not mine. Last uh, log recorded. Base all units, new direct directive is to abandon the island immediately. Go fetch your crystals. P1, yes sir, headed to crystal tower now. Base, report back once your unit is in Zeppelin mode and ready to fly. These things can fly? <laughs> P1, wait, units approaching with no coat of arms. An ambush, unlogged emergency button, sent retrieve signal. All right, that didn't go very well. I would, I would personally say, <laughs> dismiss all that. Uh, we're not too heavy, not by a long shot. So that's totally fine. And I think we can go ahead and safely switch on over, refill. Oh, that's looking good. Okay. Uh, I have a, f a small level of confidence that we can like do things, you know? That feels good. We can just keep this little uh, exploratory mission going. And sooner or later, when it comes down to like the dodging the turrets and actually having to cloak and stuff, I'm a little worried. But for now, I'm good. I don't know what that thing was moving around. Damage not a crawl unit left for retrieval from certified thing. That's a, the same general thing. The land squid three aggressive activity. Does that mean it's capable of aggressive or it's it's destroyed or downed because of aggressive or or what does that mean? Oh, warning. Stolen property. That thing is stolen. Is that what it's telling me? Their field notes. The lighthouse. I do want to know about that. Data is still inefficient to resolve meaning. Coat of arms. This is field note number one. Turns out that they use a decorated heraldry, heraldry chip carried by members of the royal houses to detect the rest of us. The unique frequency emitted by each heraldry acts as an identification system. Turrets and other surveillance machines use these readings to activate security measures. I better mount that scrambler I bought. That means you probably have a scrambler here, right? Heraldry scrambler, yes, please. Scramble the pilot's coat of arms to allow connecting to turrets or any kind of terminal. Not a complete coat of arms. You will be scanned once connected, but does the job, or so said the herald smith who fabricated it. I don't know how to play around with that. Uh, it sounds really interesting. It seems like attaching to uh, a turret would be very risky. Records. Uh, data auto downloaded floating crystal what if nautacrawls could float atop of this thick atmosphere it would be almost like flying thick atmosphere we are underwater right that's i'm like certain about that i think <laughs> The old man, it would be like flying. The old man was drunk when he said all these things. One must be careful. Un unhook. I think I did. I think I got everything that I could want from there. 
Uh, I don't know what that was. That was kind of skirting around the edge here. Oh god. Okay, cloak. Cloak is going on. I'm getting the hell out of here. Getting the hell out of Dodge. Probably draining my battery like mad. Oh shit. All right. Battery off. Storage. No, 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 no. Wrong things. Wrong things. Battery. Battery use. Uh, battery charged. All right, let's jet. Am I? Nope, nope. They're locking on. They're shooting. They're shooting. Hull integrity compromised. Uh, I have no idea how to like lock into one of these things. Uh, I kind of wanted to try and like interface with one, lock on, figure that out, but that clearly was too dangerous for that. So my decision there is to not. My decision is to get out. Get out of dodge. <laughs> One or more core components damaged. Intervention required an energy flow panel. All right, let's take a look at like our damage report here then, shall we? See how things are, are at. The cloak is faulty and integrity is overall at 72. Repair kit, fix faulty parts, use. But I'm gonna zoom out so we can hopefully see both monitors. I right, so I'll just jump over. I have a choice. The computer, the engine, or the faulty cloak. I guess I'll fix the computer. That's overall integrity went up a couple percent. Honestly, not by much. I guess we're back on back on the move. I think I want to try and sneak up on one of these things as best I can. Because I want to figure that out. I want to see how that works. So I'm charging this up to get that prepared. I'm going to jet over there and, and try to get lined up with it in a way to register that lock in okay okay uh shit 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 i'm locked in how i want to be but i gotta get out of here now all right so i'm locked on what does that do uh fuel tank empty oh wait flip over fuel tanks then switching to tank two what does it mean that i'm locked onto this though what good does that do um, shit i might have lost that i might I, I i think it disconnected all right that didn't go well <laughs> I got to approach in a way where I'm not putting myself at risk with the other guy there. So really casual approach. Uh, I do kind of need the battery to charge for a minute though as well. So I think I got to shut off one of these monitors for a minute. That's fine. All right, I'm going to try and get in there because I'm curious about this. I feel like it's very interesting. See, that's the wrong thing. That's not what I want to get to. I want to duck in just a little bit closer there. Perfect, perfect. And now I can connect to this guy. Data downloading, uh, storage, resources empty. It doesn't have anything. Records, uh, floating crystal. What am I connected to? Am I connected to the wrong thing? Shit. I think I still am. Ah, I'm connected to the wrong thing. This is very hard to get it where I want to be. And now, now I've tanked my battery really terribly. Do a quick refill on my main source there. And then I kinda, I kinda should shut some of this stuff off to try and get the overall charge up. Whoa, I just flipped this around for the first time. Faulty components detected. Redirect flow to faulty parts. Uh, okay. Reduce fuel burn. Faster pressure. Reduce heat. Oh, I have a lot of control over this. Oh, man. Uh, jeez. This is like a lot to keep in mind. You can do things like faster scanning, more more coverage with cloaking. There's a lot of cool combinations that you can do here. Mostly what I'm trying to worry about though is just getting my battery charged. It's just going painfully slowly. Oh, was I not using the scrambler? Mount the scrambler. Yes. That's got to be helpful. I'm at this point. I'm not expecting to do well. I'm just gonna get that in there just for the sake of running in here with a charge net hook and doing what I want to do here. Periscope scan. Tall metal structure made of rusted iron joists and radiation corroded panels stands five stories tall in the desolated landscape. From its peak, a blinding red eye sweeps across the desert floor, attuned for nautic crawls without heraldry. And and roaming land squids. I'm gonna connect to this 
I'm gonna see what that does. Connection untrusted. Pilot's coat of arms found, but not recognized. This connection will attempt to further scan and might take countermeasures. Okay. Uh, danger. Automatic turret. Authorized crawlers only. Access the storage. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna start taking everything, I think. Acquire. I'm just gonna start grabbing things. Sentinels evoked. Uh, invoked. Uh, grab more things. Grab another battery, because I was wasting too much battery a second ago. I can see that thing coming up on me. Alright. Uh, dis disengage. Uh, I gotta make sure I'm doing that. Unhook. Get the hell out of there. Fuel inject. All this. We're bailing like crazy. Let's get the hell out of Dodge, because this thing's coming for me as soon as it can. Go. Go. Oh. Okay. It's starting to feel like Space Team a little bit more now, even where I'm like taking damage all over the place and shit like that. Uh, did I get away from the Sentinels? Is that good? Heat level high. Heat level high. I'm letting the heat get out of control too. There's like sparks flying and shit. Jesus Christ, there's a lot to like be wary of and be on top of. There's a lot of shit going on. A lot of things are faulty now too. Oh, God damn it. I, you can hold so much. I've less than half. I, I can possibly hold as a, as a cap. So I stole some like battery and stuff and I stole the repair kits, but I also took a bunch of damage. I probably should have got out of there sooner. Repair the, the engine a little bit. I think I will also repair the power. Power is probably better. It probably helps keep a better balance. Probably helps you recharge uh, more efficiently. Things like that. I don't even know, man. Let's just get a move on. Let's get out there do some more exploring. It is very easy to lose track of where I've been. This, I think I'm moving towards kind of where I was at the start. Oh, I rammed the wall a little bit. I was worried that was going to happen. And now, guess what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to cloak and I'm going to bail with a fuel injection as quickly as I can. But I know that that's gonna eat up power like crazy, so I don't want to keep the cloak on for too long. I'm overheating things now, so I gotta let some of that off. I think I ran into a wall again, possibly. I'm locked on by the turret, but I also think I managed to squeeze by. Now I'm just about out of fuel again. There is an insane amount of stuff to keep in mind here, and it's kind of awesome the degree to which this game tells you nothing. I don't know what to do about this now. I don't know what this thing is. It seems like it's gonna mess me up though. Can it move around? It looked like it was about to start moving around, and that worries me greatly. So I'm just gonna try and run past it to the extent that I'm capable of running. Oh, okay, but I can go this direction. Don't tell me that it's gonna be a safe... Oh, maybe that attacked. That might have been me getting attacked rather than me running into a wall. Fucking overheating. Engine damaged uh, from heat. Uh, I'm hurting things now with overheating again. What, 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 what else you got for me here, man? Hull integrity critical. 25%. Oh, shit. Okay, that is pretty bad. Yeah. Felt like you were overreacting, maybe. But now that I see the actual condition we're in, it's not good. Battery's in good shape. Haven't had to worry about that in a while. So that's, uh, that's promising. Maybe I hold this together a little, a little bit longer. Error. I, the screen looked a little bit off, and now I'm realizing that my computers are totally busted. I think all of them are. So what if I do a reboot? If I totally reboot the system? Things are a bit, that helps things a little bit. It's still a little scrambled. That's really funny. That legit reboot. Uh, is like a solution. Seems like a reliable one too. I'm gonna try to get... Uh, I don't have that much fuel left because I, I could move like a couple more times here. Once, twice maybe, and then I'm, I'm gonna have to refill. Shit, and I just, I just got myself locked in by another turret again. I'm flipping to the cloaking. I, at least I know kind of how to manage my different uh, actions and things. I don't want to clip that edge. That edge, I can't believe how barely in the way it is. That sucks. All right, I guess we're going not the way I wanted to. I'm changing course to specifically avoid that shit. <sighs> Narrow escape. Did I forget to turn the cloak on? It was on. It was on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was on because he definitely tried to attack me the second that it no longer was. 
I can like hear water dripping. I don't see it, but I think that's like indicative of my damage, tall integrity, you know? Things are falling apart around me. It's not gonna hold together for much longer, I would say. I got a few more batteries left, but I'm very low on fuel at this point. That seems bad, right? Whatever this yellow guy is, maybe he's not. Cause like, they don't seem to target me. They just kind of show up and are gone. They never really chase me down. I feel like I should turn this back on. Crystal Tower. Maybe I'll try and tune into the Crystal Tower. Maybe that'll help uh, me tune into some useful radio or something. Oh, tank empty. Yep. Yeah, I knew that was coming up sooner than later. Engine is totally off. I want engine on. What? No, what? That's good, right? Okay. Things seemed like they were going really bad there. I got totally, totally unsure of what was happening. I feel like I'm just living in this, this paranoid on edge state here where I don't really know what's going on. Uh, every time I feel a little bit confident about something, the next thing you know, your hull is damaged and you're out of fuel and you're just going blind deep down the same weird tunnel that I've been skipping further and further along for a while now. I gotta try and do this slow and conserve fuel by lowering the injection. Tank empty, dismiss. I know, I'm aware. It's not a good situation, okay? But I, I'm fully aware of it. Engine pressure low? Is that a bad thing? This seems like a sort of thing that I maybe have to fiddle with now. Uh, it's just a bunch of errors on the screen when I try and do shit like that. Reboot, because that didn't look like it was going to do anything for me. All right, that was a very, like, complete reboot of things. Am I down to no fuel? Which fuel am I on right now? I can't go. My engine might be totally fried, and I can't even see that. Engine is okay? I don't believe you. I can't go. Engine pressure low. I don't know how to fix that. That seems like the sort of thing that just is damaged now. And uh, there's not a lot I can do. Oh, I totally balanced something. I don't know exactly what I sacrificed, but a trade-off was made and I could move again. All right, I'm coming for you, yellow guy. I don't know what your deal is. We're to find out, friend or foe. My, uh, my refill is so slow injection is so slow you know what I, i'm probably close enough to scan what is it it is a many tentacles teeth and pounds of thick high pressure resistant skin make this animal very dangerous and well-known encounter on the forbidden surface moving without a cloak field is highly unadvised uh so the way that i piloted myself straight at it was probably a mistake is that what you're getting at cool i'll flick on the cloak to like distract it or like put it off my guard or whatever and i'll just start cramming batteries into my face as much as possible use the battery man use the battery not critical what is going on do the thing you broken ass computer action aborted quit being so busted uh, it was damn it i can't all right well my battery's totally fried so that's sick uh i guess i just uh am toast then this whatever sea creature is gonna chase me probably i'm logged on from this thing come on everything is going so poorly it's really awesome seeing everything around me like breaking and stuff though like it doesn't can't keep track of my battery anymore uh basically everything is damaged it requires a repair kit yeah i'm aware i'm aware it's all broken uh and now i'm in the middle of a bunch of turrets and a bunch of squids and i have no more fuel He's getting all ready to attack. Maybe I should hook it. I should just power up my hook and just go for it, you know? Chucking a battery in, nah, that was it. That was the, uh, the tipping point where it all fell apart. I don't know if I can wait it out and if like a monster will come and tear it apart. The eject thing flicked itself open. There was some like gurgles and growls and stuff. This doesn't seem like the sort of game to suddenly have a jump scare moment or whatever. Too late for that. Damn. Damn. 
At least I kind of figured out a, a fair amount of what was going on. Fuels are depleted. Pilots instructed to safeguard this unit from new fugitives stealing its cargo. Well, I I was just taking damage left and right, and I it was very hard to stay on top of what was going on there. That was a, a bit of a wreck towards the end. But I do like that immediate feeling at the very beginning and i i mean i never mastered the game or anything but i like at the top of the game where you're like i don't know what this is i'm just gonna start pushing buttons pulling levers because yeah everyone has like imagined themselves in that exact scenario and this kind of captures that where you're like one at a time like this this button turn this wheel <laughs> there's like a hesitation but like uh which one of these is going to be the the thing that i've overlooked so far very cool very unique. I, I, even though I compared it kind of to FTL at the top and I can see how something like that could maybe still be a comparison, I think I can still say I've never played anything like it. So it's, it's very cool and very unique in that way. And obviously there's like a learning curve to it that you're trying to overcome and then there's probably so much more to discover. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty damn cool though. <laughs> I'll have a link to that down below if you guys want to try for yourself. You have to let me know if you figure out any cool tips or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.